Okay, so I'm Mark Chapetta from my Robot Corporation, and we're at the uh, Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. So what are we looking at here? So what you're seeing is uh, uh, what we call AVA, which is uh, our technology demonstrator that we brought here. Um, the purpose of AVA uh, at this show is to show the world what iRobot uh, is capable of uh, from a, a technical perspective. Um, it uh, is an autonomously navigating platform uh, that uh, is able to go from any one place in, an, uh, in a cluttered dynamic environment to any other place autonomously. Um, and uh, it's incredibly flexible in terms of possible applications that it can uh, run. It's head agnostic, so this, if there's a tablet computer on here, it can be a netbook, it can be a number of other different types of tablets. Uh, um, so what hardware does it have on it right now? Uh, right here, you mean? Yeah. Uh, so it's right now, this is a, an iPad head. Um, but, uh, you know, it can easily be an Android tablet or... Uh, is that a PrimeSense camera on it? Yep, there are uh, two uh, PrimeSense cameras uh, on it. There's also laser range finding, uh, scanning acoustic range finding, inertial sensors, uh, tactile sensors. It's got a very comprehensive suite of, uh, uh, of sensors um, so that... So what does it use primarily to navigate? It, it uses uh, primarily uh, LiDAR 3D vision and scanning acoustic range finding as well as IMU to uh, do navigation. Proper. It's capable of autonomous obstacle avoidance. Yes, absolutely. So is it? It's a telepresence. Robot? It is not a telepresence robot. It is a. It's a. Uh, currently, it's a development platform and uh, a technology demonstrator. Uh, you could imagine that um, applications that can be written for any sort of tablet computer can be augmented with autonomous mobility, right? So if there was you know, FaceTime running on an iPad, then, you know, this could uh, give mobility to that, right? So telepresence could be an application, but this is not a uh, telepresence-specific uh, device. It's much more flexible and much more broad than that. So can you tell me about why iRobot decided to uh, do this development? Sure. The uh, we we uh, wanted to show the world what is possible in the uh, practical robotics domain. Robotics are really abstract, right? So uh, we find that uh, discussions with people, uh, a lot of cases, leaves them unwilling to express, uh, unable to express. Uh, their desires, like what problems they want to solve. They don't even know where to start. And so we found that by putting something in front of people, that helps show them what is possible, right? Because people are, uh, they really only get their point of reference from science fiction or from, you know, uh, cartoons like the Jetsons, you know, and those sort of things. So we, we, that's why we did it and we brought it here. It's a, it's a compilation of all of iRobot's core competencies, right, in a single platform. Um, and uh, that's really it. We wanted to show people what's possible. And so can you tell me anything about um, the future of this development platform? Um, I can't really talk about the future, uh, being a public company and all. Great, thank you very much. You're welcome.